What's up, y'all? It's been a couple of days. To me, it's been just a little bit. <laughs> so we're gonna keep going on this with this list. I got the, this is part two. I have five guys and five females that should be on Legends if they have it again. <laughs> now, my first one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, uh, the males. My first male is Richard Hatch. Richard Hatch has to be on the legend. He's the beginning. Uh, a lot of people say he started the alliances, which is ridiculous to me because uh, who wouldn't think about starting an alliance, right? I mean, it's an alliance, guys. You, 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 uh, it, it makes no strategical sense not to. Uh, I think that... Uh, Somebody, somebody would have eventually done something like that. Oh, we call it alliances. But nonetheless, Richard is, uh, he is the godfather of Survivor. Uh, you know, he's the old uh, Al Capone. He's the old, uh, old school gangster. And that's him. That's Richard Hatch. I believe we are 100% agreement on that, aren't we? Of course we are. If we're not, tell me why below. Because you're crazy if you don't think he's a legend. Next one, Fair Play. Johnny Fair Play. He made one of the craziest moves around. It was heard around the world. Uh, nowadays, it doesn't seem that, that big of a deal. Because everybody lies about their kids and their mom and their dads and their dead uh, dads and their dead moms and dead grandmoms. Right? And that's what Fair Play did. Seen that? Legendary. Almost got it. Tried to grab it with my hands. <laughs> now, so Fair Play is for sure a legend. Uh, you can, a lot of people don't like him because they say he may have quit one season. He told me the story. He has jaw broke uh, when that uh, Danny Bonaducci thing and all that uh, slammed him on his face. And uh, they wired it. They wouldn't give his medication to him, so he leaves the game. Well, nonetheless, maybe he shouldn't even went out there. That's another YouTube. That's another totally different thing. But right now, we're talking legends. Johnny is a legend. Next, we have Philip. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, hate on this one. Philip is a legend, and uh, I don't care what you say. Philip is 100% storybook. That's one of the, that's one of the, that's my dog down there making all that noise. Uh, he's, he's mythical. Philip, uh, you never know what's going on up there in his mind. Uh, I think Philip is a legend. Uh, and it doesn't make sense if he, if Philip isn't on that list. Philip should be. And uh, I pro we're probably going to have a, a little grief on this one with Philip. Because uh, a lot of, pro probably a lot of you don't think he's a legend. I do. Now, next one is Rupert. Rupert is tie-dye, right? You remember Rupert. Rupert is a legend. Rupert is a pirate. It's hard to make this list. Uh, to tell you the truth, if I was making a top five list, I would put Rupert in that list. Uh, you know, he's legendary. Rupert's legendary. If I made a top five list, uh, excluding myself, of course, I would put Rupert, Rob, Coach, uh, Rupert, Rob, Coach, Ozzy. I'm trying to get a top five here. And James. That would be my top five list. But we're doing a top ten. And Rupert made that list. <clears throat> Next one. This is the last guy on the legend list. I didn't have a lot of you guys. I know I didn't have a lot of people's favorites, but uh, they could be legends. I'm just doing 10. But this is the last guy on this list, and his name is Rudy. Of course, Rudy is a legend. Come on. Uh, we all know and love Rudy. Rudy was a little homophobic. He was a little prejudiced. <laughs> but for some reason, uh, it was like, you still love the dude. You know, he it was old school. I don't think it was with any malice whatsoever. 
uh, but I think Rudy's a legend. I, I, I like the guy. I've never met him personally. I love to meet him, uh, you know, but uh, he's an old school gentleman. He's, he's, he's 91 years old right now, uh, you know, and he's having a little problems that I'm reading. Uh, most recently, they had a hoax that he passed away. Uh, you know, I, I wish the best for Rudy and his family, uh, but Rudy has made my list, and he will always be a legend. Uh, so that's it with the guys. Now we move on to the girls, the fun stuff. Because guys ain't fun. <coughs> girls are. Now we have Stephanie LaGrosa. Stephanie LaGrosa had an, that amazing season where she, everybody went home but her. You know how hard that is to do? That's super hard to sit there by yourself. When I went to Redemption Island the third time I played, it was, I didn't like to show it because I like, don't like to show too much emotion uh, when I'm out there. But uh, I was, I was, in a, I was lost, my soul, my, I was in a place that I'd never been before. It was, it was lonely. It was, you, you miss your family even more. You miss the people, you know, that you love more. You, you, married or if you had a girlfriend or whatever it was just i was just lost and and i know how she felt out there I, i'm not putting her out there because of that i'm just putting her out there because she's memorable and uh she's definitely a legend so i give her props for doing that though for not quitting a lot of girls would have quit a lot of guys would have quit so uh you know I, I give her props for doing that kind of thing next tina tina is a legend uh you remember tina we all remember Tina. I think she's a legend. Uh, there's not much uh, strategical since she won the game. But uh, back in the day when it was a lot easier to win, uh, there wasn't that much backstabbing, lying, cheating, and stealing going on back then. But we all remember Tina. Uh, again, we all love Tina. She was, she was a, a, a very likable uh, player and character in the game. I don't think she was even playing a character. Nowadays they play characters. Tina's was playing herself and I believe if they did a legend season that she will be called. Next one. I hate to say, but it's Andrea. Now I put things in perspective when I made this list and <clears throat> what's I put it in perspective of what CBS and Survivor would do. They do these things. They will have a nerdy white guy, they'll have a, a country white boy, they'll have a black guy, they'll have an Asian, they'll have, uh, you know, they'll have things like that. They, they put things like that. They'll have a blonde, the, uh, so that's where she comes in. She makes the legend list because she's a blonde, not because of her gameplay. They need to put the pieces together. And she'll be there because she's liked. She's well liked by uh, the network. And she's a blonde. She's pretty. So that puts her in position to be a legend. Now, I don't think she's a legend because of gameplay. And it is ridiculous. I know. I know. You're hollering at the YouTube right now. It's ridiculous that she's on there could be, because I think she's on there only because of me putting things in perspective and I think this is how that CBS is going to pick it or Survivor whoever or Jeff uh, they got to have their blonde right I don't even know if they have blonde this season I'm going to have to check it out I got a podcast coming on season 39 I'm going to break down the, the, the cast members and uh, break them down one at a time to tell you how I think they're gonna do. And that's gonna come pretty soon. I'm gonna do that one next. But uh, that one's a very interesting list because usually everybody's hot. I know I'm gonna say this again, but I just wanted to say this because I'm talking about uh, pretty, you know, she's a legend because she's pretty because maybe I'm wrong. Because now all of a sudden they're doing things like uh, these These are everyday people that, that are playing on this, this next upcoming season of 39. It's people that's, uh, you know, your, your co-workers, people that, that lives next door. It's not, you know, the bachelor and the bachelorette. It's not just a bunch of pretty people on an island. They got some handsome people there, some pretty people there. But I'm just saying, it's not, you know what I'm saying. It's not, I, I remember seeing a few seasons where like, what are they doing? What is Survivor starting to do? It looks like, you know, Love Island or something. It, it doesn't look like Love Island this season. <laughs> 
So I'm hope I, you know I I kind of at first wasn't going to watch it, but I think I'm I'm interested because of the cast, how they put their cast together. I'm interested because you know if they put it together like that, they're thinking let's get players instead of let's get people on how they look, or let's get you know halfway good players just because they're beautiful people. No, now it's like let's play this game. So I'm hoping that it's going on a good track. And the only reason I bring up all that is because I just talked about someone's physical appearance uh, by not by being a legend only because of that. So, you know, you never know. Uh, they could take her out, but I don't think so. I think she'll be a legend. Next one. You hear the plane? Yes, I'm right over in the airport. Can you believe that? So next one is... Uh, Sierra. Sierra is a legend. Now, uh, last time she played, she didn't do that well, but she so she definitely showed that she can play the game when she put her own mother's name down uh, and sent her mom home. She could have fought. Everybody's like, oh, her mom was gone anyway. No, she could have fought for that. She could have fought for her mom. Uh, I think the reason that she's a legend is because of that one moment. That moment that's historical. I couldn't have done that. I couldn't have made that move. This, Russell Hans couldn't have made that move. I know a lot of people that couldn't have made that move. You tell me, you know, Rupert goes first. Last time he plays, he takes his wife's spot, his wife. You think he would take his mama's spot? Yes. So Rupert couldn't have made that move. I guarantee you, 90% of the people, I would have to say 90% of the, 90, I'll go 95% of the people that played this game wouldn't vote their own parents out, unless they hate them. She has a relationship with her mom. I'm talking like that. I'm not talking about, oh, I don't know my mom, or I don't know my dad, or my dad ain't been in my life all my life. I ain't talking about that. If she had a relationship with her mother, a good relationship with her, and she voted her out. It just wouldn't happen with me. I couldn't do it. All right. Next on the list of females is Corinne. I I just don't think they can do one without Corinne. She's she's such a, a dominating force. Oh, she just did Amazing Race with Eliza, and Eliza is, could possibly be on the list too. If she's uh, she's not, but she's right there. I could understand if they if they say that Eliza is a legend. Uh, Corinne. She's ruthless when it comes to people she don't like, and she is loyal when it comes to people she does like. Like super, she's either super ruthless to you or super loyal to you, almost like myself. So my advice if you ever play with her is to be her friend because <laughs> she's either coming after you wholeheartedly, full throttle, or working with you. <laughs> you know, there's, there's people that, that you just need to align with and she's one of them uh corinne you know the whole thing with sugar the whole thing about her saying you know she would uh, give her a prescription the only thing she's going to give her is prescription uh and talking about her dad father and stuff like that that's that's ruthless stuff uh corinne is uh i think she is who she is uh that's her in person she she can if she's uh, you know wants to get at you she probably could uh, but she deserves to be on the legend list. I think Corinne is a, also, I think she's a good player. I think she's a loyal. I think that Corinne loves the game. She's passionate. She's super passionate for the game. Anything she does, you could see she's super passionate for. Uh, so I believe she deserves a spot on that list. And, uh, you know, you can maybe wipe somebody out and put Eliza out there. I mean, she's, you know, she's known for the... Yes, she could be a legend too. Uh, part two ends the legend list. Tell me what you think. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. If I miss someone, let me know. I know there's going to be legends that I missed. That's legends in your mind. And I know that legends in their own mind, uh, like Rob C., is going to think that he belongs on this list, which he probably will be out there. He doesn't deserve to be out there. He's not a legend. Uh, he's a legendary podcaster. That's what Rob is. And uh, we'll end it with that. So, subscribe, guys. 
Uh, if you want to see the upcoming YouTube with me talking about I'm breaking down the calf for season 39. It starts in two weeks. Uh, I don't know how long from here. I might air this. It'll probably start in one week. So uh, I'm going to break down that cast. Hit that bell so you can know when this is all going down. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're almost at 10,000. Very super close to it. I'm excited. That's my first goal. 10,000. Hit the like button. Comment. And that's it. Keep hope alive.